Who do you work for? This is my company. I'm an off-duty hero operator. This is my company. Okay. Yeah, I do for no details. Yeah. So look like me, you're impersonating a police officer. Oh. Who do you work for? This is my company. I'm an off-duty hero operator. This is my company. Okay. Yeah, I do for no details. Yeah. So look like me, you're impersonating a police officer. Oh, uh, no, sir. I'm not impersonating, sir. 406 ready. I'll be 1035 with that vehicle. I'm going to be pulling into Julie's Boutique right here off of Main Street. Hey, partner. Hi. Hey, I'm Officer Park with the Akron Police Department. How are you? Uh, the only reason why I'm pulling you over, uh, I guess y'all were, well, that's my chief of police right there. He saw y'all go around traffic. He was trying to figure out who, who y'all are with or what was going on. Okay. So he called out on the radio and asked for a Mark unit, and that's why I got you pulled over. That's fine. So um, I'll, I'll just let him come up if he want. Okay. I want to ask who y'all work for, Georgia Metropolitan? Uh, yeah, I work, I'm off with a hero operator. Oh, off duty yeah. hero operator? How you doing, Chief? Hey. I was I'm off duty operator. I just working off for real detail. That's my ID. Uh -huh. That's my badge. Yeah, I just working for real detail. I went to get my car checked up because you can see all the lights on. Why is the car registered to an individual? That's mine. This is my doctor. So what are you doing with all these red lights? Sorry? Why all these emergency lights? Yes. And did I see you using emergency lights to pull out into traffic on Lake Echo Drive? Oh, no, because I couldn't, I couldn't get to the chief. You notice know that's a standstill. So I stopped the lights hoping to see me that I was trying to get in the line. Who do you work for? This is my company. I'm an off duty hero operator. This is my company. Okay. Yeah, I do for no details. Yeah. So look like me, you're impersonating a police officer. Oh, uh, no, sir. I'm not impersonating, sir. You got any ID on you? Yes, sir. We look in the front. You look in the yeah, front. Yeah. I see red lights. I saw red lights when you pulled out. Yeah, that's right. That's when it activated to the back. Yeah. Where's your ID? Right, yes, Chief. Yeah. Do you have a Do you have a lighting permit for the vehicle? Yeah, right down the glass. Okay. Thank you, sir. Be right back with you, okay? Right. Uh, he's got a lighting permit on the. I'm just looking at this, sir. The lighting permits uh, good through December of this year. Hey, Chief, what do you say that cross was where you saw him activate the lights on Lake Ackworth? What's the name of the subdivision of the area? Lake Ackworth Village. Lake Ackworth Village. He was at the Ackworth Muffler. And he was wanting to turn right out on the 92 in that string of traffic there. And he turns on okay. the light to get out there. Okay, so near Cherokee Street. Put that close to uh, where's the Cherokee? Yeah, Cherokee, Cherokee. There we go. So that is roughly eh, about about 300 feet. He's got front windshield tenant and all windows are right there. His front windshield's a tire tenant. Also, awesome. he got a gun on him too. The thing is, is so he has, he has a lighting permit that's valid. What? He has a lighting permit that's valid for the vehicle to have the. Can't have red though. He can't have red or blue, right? That's what I'm curious about. If he has a company that does escorts, I'd have to look back in the law. I don't. I would assume it's amber, amber and white. Right. Um, but at the very least, from what Chief's saying, he's improperly using them. He's not on an escort. Right. He's just trying to cheat his way into traffic. Right. So at the very least, I have him on improper use of emergency equipment. Um, 300 feet. down Calvin Road. Yeah. Yeah. The, 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 yeah. It's just I didn't, you know, Chief didn't get me a, num a number, so I don't know if he was pace pacing him. Huh? I don't think Chief, Chief was uh, pacing him. He didn't tell me exactly how fast he's doing. He's the same flying. But he said 57? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. We can't, we can't pace in our cars, but we can uh, be too fast for conditions. Okay. It's red. 
300 feet west. Can't have red or blue, right? Yeah. Let me, uh, what OCGA? OCGA emergency lights? What the hell? Do what? Emergency lights. I'm trying to look it up real quick to see what it. Let's see here. Uh, all emergency vehicles shall be designated as such as the Commissioner of Public Safety. All right, let's see here. Such permit shall be valid for one year from each state and ensure prior the permits of the vehicle be along the federal, state, county, or municipal government agency shall be valid for five years. Any and all official marked law enforcement vehicles specified under 4891 should require to have a permit to use blue lights. Any and all fire department vehicles. You can't have red at all unless, unless you're stationary. Good form. Any and all fire department vehicles which are distinctly marked on each side shall not be required to have a permanent use of red light. Any other ambulance, code defection, and license shall be required to. Any and all ambulances as defined in code section 31112, licensed by the state, shall be required to have a permit for the use of red lights. The commissioner shall the commissioner shall authorize the use of red or amber flashing or revolving lights only when the person or governmental agency shall demonstrate to the commissioner a proven need for equipping a vehicle with emergency lights. Fee for such lights by municipal. Okay, so that says authorize the use of red or amber. So I don't uh, provide it a county municipal agency as Is defined. That, is that an emergency permit? He has a lighting permit, yeah. Um, but I think that's the one he has, because they're different colors, I think. The one he has is that you don't have to have a light or a permit for white. Yeah, not white. Amber, you do. And that's what you see, like tow trucks, funeral services, use amber. Um, huh. Waving his hand. Um, can you see what he's trying to? What you need to say? Can you see what he wants? The chief? Uh, no, the gentleman's wa waving. I guess he's going up there. the code section for improper use there's an unauthorized vehicle with red or amber lights but he has the lighting permit but I can't tell if that one's only for amber yeah but that's his personal car it's not like a company car see what but what I was reading in the subsection it leave it, it, it leaves it kind of open so it talks about red lights with ambulance and stuff but then in section subsection B of lighting the commissioner shall authorize the use of red or amber flashing revolving lights only when the person that Person, governmental agency shall demonstrate to the commissioner a proven need for equipping vehicle see lights. So it says person. So he has the lighting permit on the personal vehicle. This is what I was looking at. I went and the OCG pulled up uh, motor vehicles, uh, traffic equipment of emergency lights. It talks about red in subsection B. It says the commissioner shall authorize the use of red or amber flashing lights or revolve. But I don't, I don't know if there's a separate port he has to show if the commissioner gave authorization for that vehicle to have. And I'm defining which subsection is for the improper use of them because of course RMS doesn't have the exact OCGA name to it. There, emergency fallen vehicle traveling unlawful there we go unlawful operation emergency vehicle Failed to secure. Let me make sure there's no like it right there. So, got that at least. 
Um, this one's a curious one with lights and a lighting permit. Where's he live? Go for him. It's shown off a spindle top. The 8 4. I decided for that. Okay. We'll turn it over to CID and let them work it a little more. See if there's any, see if there's any yeah. Tom Fool. I, I took a picture of his DOT ID. Okay. And uh, so then nobody answered. Gotcha. So, uh, we'll have to check the verifies and we know he's out here turning on red lights to move around the traffic. He's got mag carriers on a belt. Is there, is there, is there This really feels like that whole scenario I was telling you on TV. Did he mention what his company name was for the escorts? Or, no, I'm sorry, it's Georgia Metropolitan. That's right, it's on his patch. Mr. Mackey, there's your ID back. Thank you. Look, um, given with all the light and permit and stuff I'm seeing, I'm just going to assume everything's properly permitted and stuff for the vehicle. It is, sir. Uh, that said, with what my chief's observation, you know, the use of those are for strictly business purposes. You, no, can't, right. you can't be using it to pull into traffic, okay? Yes, sir. So I am going to issue a citation for unlawful operation for emergency vehicle, okay? Just, just here. Just I know, let me just to me. talk to Chief real quick before, because I'm telling you how it's going to work. Even though I'm doing this on my private side, once I get this ticket, G Dot is gonna grind me again. I'm gonna get grounded. And I trying to that's why I trying to don't interfere my personal business with G Dot. Anytime they run up driver's license number, I'm gonna get grounded. I'm pleased. I asked the chief, please. I hear but you have to understand that this whole this whole scenario is a big issue for us too because no, the uniform no, and lights and all that. No, no, I this is when it no, gets. The thing is, this is my company. I run my company respectfully. Okay. okay. Because I deal with high clients. This is my uniform. Not no me say officer. Nothing. This is my uniform. I got you. You understand? I got but you. please, I just want to talk to the chief. I know you're gonna still do your job. I mean no harm. You can okay. check me. My badge number is four four zero one. The express means. Just, just hear me out. I don't want to get if the, if, the, if the chief wants to argue, that's fine. But this is gonna stand. All right. Just let me explain this. What I need you to do is sign here at the X. Signing is not in the mission. I know. I know. Okay. All right. I'm a former police in the Bahamas, I know. Okay. Do you need a pen? There you yes, go. Sir, please, if you if I go. Everything I point out to everyone else, auto generated court date right now is showing for the eighteenth of August at nine AM at our court. The address is right there on the back of your copy. This phone number right here is to the court services. It takes about three to five business days right, for the citation. Give them a call and we'll explain everything to you. Okay. Do you have any further? Do I have to attend the court? I just can pay it because I really. But we, once you contact that number, they'll tell you all your options if uh, if you can just pay it outright and, and they'll explain your payment uh, problems. Hey, okay. Chief. Have you got a business card? Yes, sir. Can I, get, can, can I step out? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And you're all hot, but what about all these people in there? I know, I know. Why don't you open the windows for them? Yeah, I'm trying to crack the window right now, Chief. Why don't you open all the windows so they don't No, the thing is, when I ride, when I ride, the air, the agenda, the compressor's going to kick in. Yeah. Chief. Yeah. I'm not trying to be no pain in your hip, but Chief, please, man. I don't want to get grounded. Please, from GDOT. Please. I beg you, Chief. I get that. I live in the, I live in the community. I live right there on uh, yeah. 3485. I'm not yeah. a bad person. Please, Chief. I, I beg of you. I don't think you're a bad Let me have your business card. I don't think you're a bad person. No, I just don't want to get... I don't think get, you're impersonating a police officer. I, no, I, I don't want to... No, I don't impersonate police officers, sir. That's why I was careful. I, I present myself on my uniform. Or I'm a former police in the Bahamas. I don't have nothing to impersonate for. We need real cops. I know. You could apply. I don't want to. Honestly, I don't want to apply for awkward. <laughs> okay. I yeah. I don't want to apply for awkward. Yeah, if it's no. hard to find your business card, just uh, what's a good phone number for you, sir? Uh, okay. Thanks. Anytime. All right. Thank you very much, sir. 
All right, unless you have any other questions, you're free to leave. I, see, I want to verify your employment, and I'm probably going to have CID look into this, just to be honest with you, to see what you're doing. I, I, don't, I, know, feel, Chief, I don't feel good. Chief, of course, it's great. Chief, Look up I, can show you, I can show you my LLC. I can show you my LLC right now. I'll let, I'll let them handle it. And also, and also right here. Yeah. That's why he was calling my supervisor sure. just now. Sure. Okay. The thing is, anytime, anytime I do this, yeah. they try to involve Judah, and I don't want to get grounded. I hate getting grounded. Yeah. Well, let's don't get grounded. Well, this is this is not us trying to affect your no, appointment. No, no, no. I understand no, your that's concerns, why I, but that's why I try. I'm not being honest unless I try to tell my supervisor this by one to Barnes. Okay. okay. All right. And well, that's 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 between you and your boss. Okay. Yeah. Like I said, right, we'll do our follow up, but.